Hello and welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is your girl Pinky and I'm coming with another shopping haul video. But first we want to give a scripture before we get started so we can jump right on into this bag over here. This um, Ross and Dollar Tree bag. Okay. I want to read this time out of Psalms number 91. And it says, verse 4, He shall cover thee with his feathers, and under his wings shalt thou trust. His truth shall be your shield and buckler. You shall not, somebody say, I shall not be afraid. I'm so dramatic with the scripture. <laughs> you got to put yourself in this. You got, you got to take this literally that he talking to you. He said, you shall not be afraid for the terror by night, nor for the arrow that fly by day. Y'all know them terrors and be flying at nighttime. You be laying in the bed trying to go to sleep and all kind of crap be running through your mind. You hear something, the house just shifting, the house just settling. And you think somebody breaking in. Then you got people during the daytime throwing arrows, talking about you, stabbing you in the back. You should not be afraid. God got you. Get up, girl. God got you. Let's let's jump up. See, y'all make me do that. Y'all make when I open up a scripture, I gotta open it all the way up like a little flower bud, and you you gotta see it go from the seed to the bud to the blossom, because that's what the word of God is. It's a seed that gotta get planted and open up, and when God opened that thing up in your spirit, you see things differently. Come on now. But right now, we <laughs> gonna get in this bag. Let's go ahead on. Let's start off with uh, uh, City Trend. There's a trend in the city. Every city got one. It's called City Trend. I got these uh, Betsy Johnson um, Brow Tool Kit. Betsy Johnson. And this is it. As you can see, I need some help. Also in that city trend, I have these little gift, these little cards, and um, I think it's like twelve of them in there. Sixteen with four uh, different designs, four different scriptures, and it was three dollars. In that same city trend, I, I went in city trends because I needed to break uh, uh, some change to wash clothes, and. Um, I didn't know how to get out of there with just spending two dollars. They had this journal, it was four dollars, saying today God wants you to know you have purpose. It's a devotional journal. I haven't even opened it up yet. I mean I opened it up and read like enough to know I wanted it. Yeah. Just like a pretty journal. Dollar Tree or maybe the giant ninety nine. This is good for anxiety, give you something to do, an activity to do. Um, also depression, she's just so cute. And I was in Target also. Didn't buy nothing, because I went in there looking for one thing. If I don't see it, I walk out real quick. And I was looking at these in Target, these little LOL dolls, yeah, they want $30 from things. I put it right there. Then they had a Barbie. I need to show y'all that Barbie I got. They had a Barbie, a yoga Barbie to kind of calm you down. I think I'm gonna pack her in my bag and carry her with me. Here's another LOL journal from the Dollar Tree. Yeah, it's just like a little notebook. What does LOL stand for? You see, y'all thought it was laughing out loud. It's living out loud. I have a tear and share. I think I showed you this in another video. Another little tear and share uh, prayer journal where you can actually color your pages. I showed you this the other day. It's another journal from Dollar Tree. Uh, when you go through deep waters, I will be with you, honey. How many have been through some deep stuff? God was always with you. If he wasn't with you, you wouldn't be here. Hello. You know, you know, people be asking me, how you gonna get on a cruise ship with all that water? What if it go down? I said, what if you wreck your car? You get in it every day. 
How often you hear a ship go down? I, that water is not made to drink. You sail on it, and if the ship go down, that's how God wanted me to die. He knew that over 2,000 years ago, Bo. See, y'all give me sidetracked. I have this Barbie Maze. She came from Dollar Tree. Pinktastic. So it has a little maze thing there. I remember playing with that as a kid, one of these things. It probably was her. Then they had different little mazes and stuff in here that you can color. You got to help Barbie find her way. Heck, I need to find my way. So this ought to keep me busy during June. What do you think? All these little things right here. Then, I bought me another pack of spoons. If you want to know what the spoons are for, leave me a comment. They will be in one of my bags when I leave. I got me a little crush. Mm. He probably tired of me. That's why he got his eyes closed. Got me some raw almonds. Almonds are good for you. Some Robitussin to carry on the ship. Um, just in case. Because they sell it on the ship. This was 99 cents. You know how much they sell it on the ship for? $9. Ain't having it. Got me some zip ties to put on my suitcase. I don't put locks on my bags. Because if they want to get in it, they're going to get in it. If they cut the zip tie, I know they went in it. Got me some bubbles. Not carrying it on the ship. This is just out here play with the puppies. I got me an Eco Tool Beauty uh, Cleansing Brush from Five Below. I think it was like $3. Got me some body powder, pure cornstarch, no talc. No talc. That makes all the difference. Pure cornstarch with the rose scent. This stuff smells good. Mm. I don't know what's with me and these roses all of a sudden. I have this another little pouch. You know, I have a black one. Now I got another one. This came from my Melrose place. It was three dollars. I have another Barbie jumbo coloring and activity book. She came from Five Below. It was a dollar. I don't know if I'm taking all this stuff because I get in that cabin, I won't come out being there coloring. Got me a little Mickey Mouse bag, Minnie Mouse bag. Oh, that's Mickey. They didn't have many, so I took the next best thing. Then I have me another uh, wall plaque. It says beach, please. And it's removable. So I may take this one on the cruise to put on our door. I got several options of things to put on the door, but I like that one. And then I found my, my um, shower wipes. This one is retinol, made with retinol and tea tree. And this one is collagen, made with collagen and vitamin C. These things feel lovely. I need to find some more of these. I want to say they came from Marshalls. I've had them a minute. But um, I, I don't have running water, so I cannot run out of any kind of baby wipes. I have tons of baby wipes. Let's say that. Also from Dollar Tree, I got this facial oil with rose oil extract facial spa. I want to try that. See how it turns out. A little pouch it's clear came from Dollar General it says three dollars but I didn't pay three dollars because when I went it was Memorial Day and I got a discount for being a veteran being a veteran does have its perks I have this uh, beach rose fragrant oil that I'm gonna carry to put in the ship uh, with some cotton balls to give it a nice rosy smell. 
in the ship. I have me some more bubbles. Little Miss Princess. I'm not taking my bubbles on the cruise ship. They're confiscated because it's liquid. I have another sensory toy. For anxiety. My anxiety is really, really, really bad. And then, thanks to Drea, from Drea's Heart and Drea, got me some nails. Now, I'm just, I'm just gonna play with these because the last time I got on the cruise, I called myself being grown and put on some nails and they popped off. And one woman said, is that your nail? Like it was. <laughs> so I'm gonna try these. They were, I think a dollar. Yeah, a dollar. Got me some cute little cups because I'm tired of washing dishes. I have me some carpet fresh, even though I have just a five by three by five carpet in here. I have ants. So kill the ants, get the smell boat. <laughs> Make it smell good up in here. What is this? Oh, an organizer's desk organizers. It was four dollars from the giant 99. Another little pink wallet with the hearts. Um, what you call this material? Puffiness. It says eight dollars, but I didn't pay eight dollars because I got a veterans discount. our bag tags ready to be tagged to the bag some more uh, lip balm and lip gloss I think it was a dollar at Dollar General then I have a press face powder from the Dollar Tree um, I don't know it says it's infused I don't know what it's infused with but I'm gonna I'm gonna see it's supposed to give you a smooth matte finish. And as you can see, I need it. <laughs> and then finally, I told y'all what I was going to do. Didn't I tell you? <laughs> that woman looked at me in that store like, you have lost your mind. I'm like, honey, just ring them things up. Just ring them up, boo. Just rang them up, boo. Just rang them up. Now, the ones that I wanted, the um, rose tree and tea tree, rose water, they only had one. So, I got everything else that I thought was close enough to it. And, I think that will be it. Oh, no. Oh, no. There's two more things down in this bag. Some Betsy tweezers. Betsy Ross. Betsy Johnson. These came from Burlington, I believe. $4. And some cuticle remover. A uh, dollar. So, if this your first time here, welcome to the channel. If you have not already went over there and hit that button, honey, what are you waiting for? It's not that complicated. Walk your fingers over there, hit that button and ring that bell. Give me a thumbs up, leave a comment, and share the video. I'm doing some giveaways this week. By Friday, I ain't got four giveaways. If you will leave your name and uh, leave me a comment, share the video. You got to do all this. You got to leave a name, share a comment, got to subscribe, got to ring the bell. And if you email me your address, the first four people, I will have a gift for you. You can email me at alabasterboxministry at gmail.com, and I'll put that in the description, okay? So I can get this in the mail to you. It's a mystery gift. It's a mystery gift to the first four people. Uh, yeah. Email me your address. I don't want your address on the World Wide Web. Just email it to me. Unless you got a P.O. box and you're okay with it. Um, 
You can leave your P.O. box in the description if you want to. Don't put your physical address. So until next time, don't forget, like, comment, subscribe, hit the share button, thumbs up, and you have a blessed day. It's not that common.